Hello and welcome to No Resets. My name is Dwight and we are plowing on ahead with Mario 64. Um, you can call this episode Tempting Fate because I am tempting fate because if you're looking at the screen and you just picked up from the last episode, then you know that I am not taking a break. So this is gonna be four episodes in a row. Um, not that I'm not good at gaming for long periods of time, but I have worked today, I, uh, I'm hungry, um, I'm a little tired, uh, but here we go. Let's do this. All right. Dire Dire Docks. I think that's the name of this level. Reacting to the star power as the door opens super fast. Boop. <laughs> Dire Dire Docks, yeah. Let's see how many times I friggin' drowned in this episode. Oh, uh, the other reason I'm tempting fate is because um, Tiffany, my wife, who you know from Toy and Tiffany Ruin Games, is, um, she's out bowling tonight, so that's part of the reason why I was able to do this, because not that, you know, she's distracting or or she wouldn't she would always be more than willing to um let me do this on my own time or let me do this with her in the house but it, it's it's i almost feel rude doing that because like you know i want to spend time with her so this is great because she's out doing something and it lets me um accomplish something but i'm cutting it dangerously close to when i know she's going to be coming home so uh, you, there might be a uh, special guest appearance on this episode uh, by Tiffany, which, you know, will probably make the ratings go up. Ratings in the biggest air quotes, because uh, I don't know if anybody actually gives a shit. But it'll be fun. She's a good people. What's the best way to get onto this sub? I thought there was like a... this work? I don't, I don't ever remember going this way. Is there like a button that I need to press to make um... See, this is what I mean by when I say I'm tempting fate. I'm doing things I know I'm not supposed to to get this star. There's gotta be... Like, yeah, there's that right there. Do I just... Oh, okay. You know, there was no, um... There's no ramp up there. And I, like a gentleman, only exit the water on ramps. Hey, look at that, I boarded Bowser's sub. Mic drop, buddy. So, ooh, I don't think I remember actually seeing it move back. So on this episode, we're probably just gonna knock out Dire Dire Docks and if we have time, um, I'll go into uh, is it Bowser in the Fire, Bowser in the Fire Sea, something like that. Nope. At least there's lots of coins down here. All right, so. That one's no. Man, this uh, this current one. Fifty-fifty shot. I know there's four of them, but I'm almost certain the last one's the one up there. Of course, that's what I thought last time. And, or is there only three? No, okay, there's four. That's what I thought in Jolly Roger Bay. And we know where that got me. But, we got this one. These levels, or this level at least, it feels smaller than some of the other ones. It's just these two little sections. It's this little column and then the, the sub column. I mean, Jolly Roger Bay is small, but it has like that in a couple of indoor zones and almost like, it has what feels like four segments and this only has two. 
I guess if you count the the pipe connector, or not the pipe connector, but the uh, the tunnel that connects them. But I don't know if I would, because it's just a tunnel. All right, going straight into the coins. Um, I might as well use this opportunity to get the. get all the hundred coins because once again this place is small I think it should be fine there were no more down here right okay I don't know what happens if I get sucked into there it looks like we're gonna find out or not All right, I think those are the only two big lines. I, I don't remember, and I should check this out, if there are any coins actually up here. there was like a little island but I guess I was remembering that incorrectly okay those manta rays man those bubbles that he spits out of his tail that was another one that like frustrated me what stars were the hardest for you do you remember um, I assume uh, something, if you've ever played this game and you're re-watching me play it, I'm sure something has uh, jogged in your memory about a particular time that you died a whole bunch on one, or... I, I know I've already told you mine. Mine was the, uh, on Cool Cool Mountain, the, the Wall Kicks Will Work is the name of the star. That one is... Oh. was a test in my patience. Test of my patience. Is this another one of those ones where I need to do this in a specific one because... Man, I don't know. This doesn't feel like a lot of coins. And I know that the the sub eventually disappears. Oh, I could have just walked over here. I'm a big dumb. I know the sub eventually disappears. In fact, I'm little shocked it's still here right now All right, I'm gonna get that one last and eh, maybe I shouldn't but whatever yeah this one definitely said red coins right there's supposed to be pole jumping for red coins there the sub's still here. Oh! Oh! I bet you I have to beat Bowser. I ha- Oh, okay, okay, okay. Looks like we are beating Bowser in this one, boys and girls. You gotta beat Bowser first, I guess. To make the sub disappear. That makes sense. I don't know if you needed both of those. I know I already went for some of the coins, but I don't think that it would have made much of a difference. 
like I feel like you need to get the red coins. All right, so let's do this then. So, just kidding. Ha, huh, remember when I said I, I might do this in this one? This snuck up on me. I wasn't prepared, man. I wasn't prepared for it. So to date, when I recorded this, um, because obviously it's been a while, uh, literally just today, um, Reggie fils announced his resignation from uh, Nintendo. And I am more upset about that than I should be. Uh, another thing that got me really upset, uh, Nintendo, I don't know, like, Nintendo means a lot to me for obvious reasons. Um, what with it being basically my childhood and whatnot. But, like, when Satoru Iwata passed away, Satoru Iwata passed away, um, man, that was, that was rough, too, because he was just, like, the... He felt like the most transparent and the most just like genuine president of a company, like a major soulless money sucking company that I like ever encountered. And I think a lot of it for Iwata at least, um, and Reggie to a lesser, well, Iwata specifically, um, because he designed games and so like he came from a designer background. I mean, Frick, he, um, Frick, fuck. He, uh, he's the reason that Pokemon Gold exists, or, um, not exists, it has Kanto in it, which is, like, one of the reasons that people, myself included, fucking love that game. Because it went back to the original, which is so cool. And we had him to thank for that. And, like, Reggie had such a great attitude about, you know, everything so I'm really gonna miss him from a uh, like I said from a soulless corporation that only cares about my money Nintendo uh, in general brought a lot of smiles to my face so that makes me sad so this this run is uh, dedicated to Reggie this is actually probably going to come out around the time he said he was retiring. Because he said he was middle of April. Bad birthday present, Reggie. Reggie. I wonder what Donkey's going to say about it. I'm sure he'll say something. I'm sure he will have said something at this point. I bet you I will link to it in the annotation or whatever. Because I'm a YouTube master at this point. Probably have like a thousand subscribers by now ain't gonna happen doing this for fun not big on the trying to make it in the YouTube genre so long big ma- oh it didn't go <laughs> I feel like okay yeah, there's a right one I, like, I don't think ooh I don't think I missed one, but I feel like I could have. Uh, there it is. Ooh, that didn't work. <sighs> Come on, we got this, we got this. Jump, jump. I guess not up here. Er. Where the star actually comes out isn't up there. Come on. Oh, it is! <laughs> I didn't see it. There was no, um... In every other... One... The, er... Level. <clears throat> there's a little... Shadow of a star that floats. And you can... See where the red coin star will show up. Here we go. I think this one's still just one. Bowser looks normal. I remember sorry, pestering me again, are you Mario? Can't you see that I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions? That's a fun alliteration, buddy. 
Now return those stars. My troops in the walls need them. <laughs> oh, this is when he starts the sh Oh, he tilts it. The shot next, uh, the last one, shockwaves. I always thought that Bowser had like, um... oh wow, he is doing more stuff. He's so big. I always thought Bowser had, um, he looked like he like was like bruised or beaten up or had like lipstick on in the last level. Jeez, guy, stand still. Walk towards me? What is going on? Why do I not remember how to do this? Teleporting? Walking? Jump over you? No. Teleport and turn around? Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. Alright. We close to one. There we go. Now, let's see if we can do this in one shot like we did the last time. I'm doubting it. Got it! Awesome. Cool. Sweet. Done. Woo! Take that. Boom, kaboom, kaboom. That's right, I gotta talk to him. Wow, can, can it be that I lost? The power of the stars has failed me this time. Consider this a draw. I beat you. Next time I'll be in perfect condition. Now, if you want to see your precious princess, come to the top of the tower. I'll be waiting. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Key, please. All righty. Bowser in the fire sea. Double space clear. QA didn't catch that one. Or maybe clear is always in the end. All right. Let's do this one for real this time. So the only other ones are, I think it's stand in the jet stream and, um, What's that little fish guy do again? It's like standing in the jet stream and the stingray one. Although standing in the jet stream might be a different one. Might be a different water level. But, okay. Let's redo this. Hopefully I'm not beefing it all over again. Dear shark, go away. Don't eat me. I'm a little bit bummed that, I mean, not that it matters, but like, I like to finish things at once. Like if I start a level, I don't like to kind of go out and do things out of order. When I was younger, I obviously like there were some that I couldn't get at once. So I would, you know, piecemeal it and just enough to beat the game. Like I remember getting enough, the first time I got enough stars to just get to Bowser and like get up that stair staircase. Oh man, that was hard. It took me months to beat this game the first time. And then I remember like, <laughs> okay, this is a good one. So um, when I was younger, whenever I got my N64, so sixth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, probably at whatever, I don't know. Um, Fourth grade? Fourth, fifth, sixth grade. Somewhere in there. Um, I wasn't allowed to play after school. It was a big no no. Frowned upon. Um, because, you know, like I was supposed to be doing my homework. I, I had other things. Yeah, okay. Stuff's gone. Other things I was supposed to be doing. Um, my mom didn't like me spending too much time on. Oh my god, it's sucking me out. Oh, come on on well live and learn um my mom didn't like me spending too much time on video games fine i get it it did not stop me from coming home and chipping away at super mario 64 and i remember like i was working on it for, for weeks 
trying to get all 120 stars. And I remember as we were getting close to the end, um, my sister, who is four years younger than me, so, I mean, put this in perspective, I was at between, <clears throat> excuse me, I was between like a 10 to 12. So she would have been between six to eight. So we were very young. Um, and with that big of an age gap, specifically at that age, um, you don't have a lot in common. Because I mean, when I was looking at, you know, not Ninja Turtles, but whatever I was into at that point, Dragon Ball Z. And she was still into, you know, things that, things that six and eight year olds are into. Girls, vastly different worlds. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't have water right now. Um, so I would have to tell her, I'd be like, because I, I, I knew that if you beat, I uh, got all 120 stars, uh, Yoshi would appear on the roof of the castle. Spoiler alert for the end of this game. And so I would have to tell her, be like, okay, don't tell mom that I'm doing this because she doesn't want me playing. But if I do this, then we're gonna get to see Yoshi. And if if uh, if I get it, I will show you Yoshi and I'll let you let you let you see him. All he does is just give you some star or give you a hundred lives and then literally bounces. Um, so that was my way of not tricking her, but convincing her to let me do it. So I, I did that for, like I said, it had to have been weeks where I was just like, shh, don't say anything, I'm doing this. And when I got close, I was probably like three stars away because I would get like, if I got a star a day, that was amazing. Even with my, my guides and walkthroughs, I just was not, you know, that great of a player. So I wonder if there's, is there anything in these? So, like I said, if I got a star a day, that was a, that was a good day. So when I was like three to five stars left, I was, I was super close. I remember my sister, we were in the car with my mom. We were driving somewhere, I don't remember where, but like I had told my sister, oh, we're close, I'm close. <clears throat> Just a couple more days, I'm close. And she was like, she told my mom, Dwight's almost gonna unlock Yoshi. And I, I was just like, oh my God, what are you doing? Cause my mom was like, excuse me? What, what are you talking about? There's no way that they didn't know my parents that I was still playing these games after school. I assume they knew, but still it was like, I, was so scared of getting in trouble, which looking back on it's a little bit silly, but that's my, uh, I don't remember what the context for that story was, but that's my that story. Ugh, I messed that up. Whew. Ah, you know what, I should go for that one first. God dang it. Why do I censor myself when I'm <laughs> doing this? I don't need to. I think it's just an inherent thing. Like, uh, it almost feels like, cause like uh, I'm performing, which is, um, or like I'm, you know, talking in front of like a group at, at work or something, which isn't like a, a great mentality to have about it, but it, you know, it feels like I, I need to be ugh, semi on my best behavior. Which makes no sense, because it's not like it, you know, matters. If you don't like me saying the fuck word, let me know. I'm sorry. I mean, that is actually a legitimate thing, because, like, I... It's, it's a game... Kids, so if um, oh 
Oh, I didn't need to do that. So, like, if, um... That's what I'm looking for here. You know, if, if kids watch this, then that's, you know, something that I need to keep in mind. Ooh, this is trickier than I remember it. Like a lot. And go. Whew. Okay. I am really banking on um oh, fuck it. I'm really banking on the blue star or the blue coins giving me a lot because 58 and I think I've gotten four already so I've only got eight more coins from the red coins that's not a lot man god damn it Whew. come on we got this we got this No, we don't. Up, down. I'm going too quick. I gotta slow my roll. We. What the hell? Yeah, I wish I was telling that story now. Nope. I have done it once. I think I only have to do it two more times. Yeah, maybe I should have just rode the, uh... You're kidding me. Maybe I should have just rode the, uh... I, I can always run over to that one. Yeah, I'll just do that. I bet you that's what you're supposed to do. I guarantee you this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, can I just get this? Oh, are these the last three? Oh, okay. <laughs> My name's Dwight, I'm an, oh. No, I need more. My name's Dwight, I'm an expert at Super Mario. I know everything about it. It's not true. It's not true at all. But I still love this game. This game is so much fun. Made it. This is the real moment of truth. Oh. Oof. All right. Go away. How many are going to show up? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, I'm missing six. Four. I'm missing four. Also, I beefed that. All right. Four coins. Four coins. So you're kidding me. This is seriously gonna be another episode that ends with me like on on a sixth six golden coin or on the Jesus Christ on the eight red coins. I miss also. Okay, cool. On the eight red coins, I'm missing like two coins. All right. Could there be coins like on the surface of the water that I'm just missing? 
because this is just brutal. You're kidding me. Oh, this is heartbreaking. This is absolutely heartbreaking. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ugh. Are there like coins in the middle of the air? Ugh. Oh well. I'm not gonna stretch this out. That's just... Oh, that's rough, man. That's rough. Oh. Could be better. Unless I can, like, kill one of those fish out there, or I missed some of the fish out there. I don't know. I'm gonna go explore. But, if I don't find it, then I'm going to cut. And I'm going to just go back and, uh, Edit me just to me getting the star because uh, you don't need to see me floundering here. <sighs> I can't end can't end this like that. I gotta, I gotta get those coins. Gotta get those coins. This is gonna be a, a fun editing nightmare, but I, I, I can't end this without getting the red coins. So, you all, uh, oh shit. <laughs> Whew. You were all with me for that, uh, the ups and downs of this. Man, this has been, this has been a heartbreaking couple of episodes. I mean, there was some good stuff in this. Like, the uh, the Bowser fight was good. Yeah, the Bowser fight was great. But, man, Dire Dire Docks, for being so small, really been rough. But we're gonna do this. We are going to end strong. Because I just can't leave it at that. I can't. It feels bad. <laughs> like that. It feels bad, man. I think I've learned my lesson tonight that at least for one game straight, like one solo game, um, just three sessions or, you know, I can't go for, can't go for that long. I'm not, I'm not 14 anymore. Can't play games straight. Although also like, I mean, eh, I'm gonna be complaining about recording stuff. Like I'm sitting in a weird position. I'm, I'm conscious about the microphone. Although, like, it's very possible that, like, I'm beefing on the microphone hard. Oof, fuck that up. Like, oh, I thought I had that. You know what I mean? Like, I, hopefully, I'm speaking into it properly. I won't know until I'm editing. And even then, only so much I can do about it. I definitely learned my, uh, my lesson today. And that lesson is, pace yourself, man. I've been recording this one for over 40 minutes at this point. So that should tell you, you know, where I am. I really shouldn't have, uh, you know, poo-pooed on, um, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for here? Poo-pooed on Hazy Maze Cave so quickly. Cause this one's been, whew. Not even arguably, just straight up worse. No, maybe worse. You know, but that's like the thing with this type of stuff. I, I can't expect myself to be perfect every single time. Oh my God, this is a metaphor for my life. Um, 
I can't expect myself to be, you know, perfect and on point and never die for you. That's that's got to be half of the fun is is that. And I'm sure it's hard with just me talking. Um, that's why I'm trying to come up with these stories. I'm trying to be engaging with, um, you know, questions and, you know, what did you like to do? And, you know, maybe if people write comments, I can respond while I'm um, playing the game and stuff like that. Um, so that's just, you know, some thoughts. So I think we, we brought this around. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode of No Resets. Uh, I did not reset, even though I wanted to. <laughs> um, my name is Dwight. This has been a wonderful time playing this game for you all. Um, once again, check out norefunds.com, norefundspodcast.com, um, norefundspodcast at gmail.com if you want to email me any questions. Uh, and No Refunds is a podcast. Um, me and Tiffany and Alex, Tiffany, Alex, and I, we... Uh, you know, we have a good time recording it. Hope you have a good time listening to it. Hope you had a good time with this. I know I did. Even though I may not have sounded like it, I can promise you there's joy in my heart. Awesome. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, bye.